I'm a little heartbroken about it. Is there a possibility there could be a movie in the future? Kind of like Firefly ended and then got a movie. Yeah, they, they, Jay's been talking about it for years, about doing a movie. Yes, I don't know. convince him. I know. I mean, we'd love nothing more. It'd be fun to get everybody back together mm -hmm. and, and do that. But I, there has been nothing... Except for you, because you're dead. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, absolutely, I think. And that's something the entire show of Lost Girls is just so fan-driven. So if that's what you want... Tweet Jay Firestone, tweet, you know, tweet Lost Girl. Let you them know it. you want it. Are you Beetlejuice? Yes, I am. Very cool. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm from Brazil, and <laughs> I wonder what are your plans for the future now that the series is finishing? Oh, rain. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am playing Queen Elizabeth on uh, CW's Rain, and it just premiered last night. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to have to start watching it. <laughs> Just so I can I, call you and I make can, fun of you. <laughs> I know. I, I couldn't watch it because I was filming last night. But I did ask to see one scene just to make sure that my accent wasn't like completely mental because I've never done a British accent on television before and I was having nightmares that I would sound like Borat or something. <laughs> um, I think it was okay. <laughs> so, but otherwise, it's sort of embarrassing to watch yourself. Yeah. You know, sometimes I see, like, clips of the shit I did on Lost Girl, and I'm just like, I can't believe I made that face on television. <laughs> just on a loop on YouTube, me being like... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I try not to. That's, oh, yeah, yeah, the loops on, on Twitter are hilarious. Yeah, but you look little, fucking like, smoking gifts. on yeah. Yeah, it's... Lost Girl. But um, so far, your accent has not got you banned from, like, England or anything. So that's a good sign, right? That's yeah. true. Well, I mean, we all know how the story of Mary, Queen of Scots ends. It's with me killing her. So. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wikipedia. Um, so unless I really screw, <laughs> screw up, I don't think that they can yeah. kill me. But. Well, as, as actors, do you actually prefer to... I mean, with Queen Elizabeth, that's a, that's a role that a lot of people have played. Everybody's put their, a lot of people have put their spin on it. Do you prefer to sort of originate a character and be the first one to play it? Or is it more of a challenge to take on something that's historic or something that other people have uh, filled those shoes on? I think it's a lot more challenging to do something that's historic because then you're up against, like, you know, so many different people have portrayed that character in varying ways, and some are great, some, some are, you know, are not so great, and you're, you know, everybody's got their opinion about how it should be done, so you're, you know, it's scrutinized a lot more, whereas if it's something that you can create and grow into, there's a lot less scrutiny with that, and there's a, people are much more forgiving, I think, of that. Yeah. But not to scare you. Or yeah, <laughs> no, I think the hardest, be the hardest thing to do, <laughs> love you. I think the hardest thing to do is um, a, like a book series. I, I always feel sorry for people who have to do like a book series oh, but, because oh, that yeah. is even worse because people have this sort of idea in their yeah. mind of what it should be and you know. Well, you and the book is always job. so much more descriptive and your mind, you know, like the imaginative and, and detailed and then you see the movie and very little of the time does it live up to what you've read and and when it does you're like wow that was awesome but it's yeah that's really hard well i think we can credit genre quite a bit and i think lost girl is a great example of that that it's not as if a, a creator has this show and then steps away we're sort of in this fun part of the industry within the genre where the creators, the authors, are staying very closely involved with the shows. I mean, would, would you agree with that, that that's sort of a unique element to uh, genre right now, or? Yeah, well, definitely on our show that was true. I mean, yeah. Jay was there all the time. Yeah. You know, and was kind of like the final word, because he had started the show not through a typical way where you get a network involved right away, yeah. and so a studio's funding it. So Jay kind of started it on his own and therefore had almost complete creative license over what he did. Yeah. Which was also unique. Uh, I think over here? Hi. Hi. Um, one, thank you for giving us an amazing show with a lot of amazing girl crushes. Um, in the show, there are a lot of strong moments, a lot of strong, vulnerable moments. Um, with that being said, throughout the season, what would you say was your most challenging scene or just challenging moment? To shoot throughout this season specifically or like any or the series in, 
in its entirety. I mean, you had some doozes. <laughs> <laughs> Challenging. I Have you had that scene with Paul yet? Has that aired yet? Which one? <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like you just revealed something, and yet we have no idea what it is, so. <laughs> That's like actually just how Emmanuel and I speak. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the whole cast turns into velociraptors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I would say for me, it was probably the dancing scene, and I think it was season three. Um, only because it was so exhausting because we did that like for seven hours that day and and I think I like it gave me a headache because it, like the, just the movements and the you know jerking around and all that stuff it was um it was yeah it was just physically exhausting but it was fun though it wasn't you know it was, it, that was the challenge of it but it was it, it was a lot of fun and I, I was happy with how it turned out but um, that would have been mine I think yeah Mine was either my dancing scene, just because like I loved that. There were like a hundred <laughs> extras, and then I had to do this like <laughs> dance in front of them, and like uh, we just filmed it so many times, and it just got more ridiculous every time. But it, it turned out funny, um, and it was really hot. Like I was just sweating. Um, that scene or any scene where I had to have a fight with Anna, you know, because I just. Like, I just worried about her. Like, with Chris, it was like, oh, if I punch you in the face by accident, like, I'll just punch you in the face. But with Anna, you're like, oh, I don't want to hurt you. You're so precious. <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Um, going back to your relationship with Anna, did you ever, like, realize that you were going to sort of be on her side for the lead of the season? Uh, giving Wait, did I what? Really, um, so, you know, in the beginning where you were just, you know, con I don't know how you say it. Anyways, uh, did you ever realize that you were going to be sort of on her side for the later seasons, like being with her rather than against one? You as the actor? Um, no, I, I don't think that they really intended that because in the beginning I screen tested with Chris and the intention was for me to be Chris's new partner, kind of taking over from Hale and move into being his love interest. And then Anna and I just sort of had a chemistry together, and, and that developed sort of on in. So I, yeah, I, I, not in the first season. In the first season, I mean, I really thought, yeah, it would be more with Chris. I think then they were just like, we need to separate Chris and Rachel because they're disasters together. <laughs> <laughs> we just <laughs> spill food on each other and, like, I don't know, it was ridiculous. So they, we joke that they like actually separated us. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the answer to your question. But it, it worked perfectly. It was amazing. What? It worked perfectly. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, they separated Paul and I. They never put Paul and I together ever. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that, no, that would, oh my God. For good reason. <laughs> we were bad. That would have been worse. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hi. Hi. So definitely love the show. Going to miss it. Um, question in terms of the characters you've played. What are you going to miss the most about playing them, or what did you love the most about your characters? The wardrobe. <laughs> you loved it. Oh, yeah. They, they, they did a really good job with the wardrobe on, on the show. Um, at least for my character, I was very happy, because uh, I always had fun stuff to wear. And, and I, I think the, the biggest thing I'll miss is, is the, the writing, really. I mean, they wrote the Morgan so well, and I always had these quippy, fun one-liners, and it was, it was a lot of fun, so I, that's what I'll miss. Is there anything you won't miss? You. <laughs> <laughs> I just set that one up so yes. hard. Oh, you, you did. Walked like a lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> um, what will I miss? I mean, I just miss being with the people every day. I really liked that. Um, about my character, in the first, in like the third season, so my, my first season, I might have said like, oh yeah, I loved like the like donuts and stuff I got to eat, but then that got like really tiring really quickly, and I got just like, then they had just me stuffing my face all the time, and after like 12 takes, you're like, no more donuts. <laughs> <laughs> like on the first like three donuts, you're like, yeah, like cool, and then the like three to six, you're like, I'm not feeling good, and then by like six to 12, you're just like. <laughs> Um, 
you know what I'll miss about Tamsin, they, they gave me the opportunity to flex a comedy muscle that I, I had never really been able to do before. And they literally just sort of like let me do anything. And um, that was really liberating. And it's funny because going over to Rain, where I'm playing such a sort of controlled character and it's such a different time, um, a couple of times like they'll have to cut and they'll be like, <clears throat> Rachel, you, you can't roll your eyes like that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't even know how to do it. Um, so I'll just kind of miss that. Like Tamsin, Tamsin was really fun to inhabit for three years. Yeah. Thank you. Wardrobe wise, did you uh, walk off set with any of uh, your clothes, oh, yeah. your outfits? A yeah, lot of all it. of it. For, mm, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I went in there before Jay could get to it. Because Jay loves to go into the wardrobe. I have women's clothing, men's clothing. I mean, I don't know what he's You're doing. You're gonna get in so much Jesus. trouble for that. Yeah. <laughs> It is a, it's a popular question about what people go off, walk off set with, so uh, I, yet it's a revealing one. What did, did you uh, take off with anything? Well, I, I hated that boomerang that I had that I threw at the Rakshasa, and I like, it was made of foam, so obviously it doesn't throw at all, and it just like would fly <laughs> off the building, or like, yeah, just, yeah. it was like, it was like, like this, like. <laughs> And Chris just like teased me mercilessly, and it, they cut it together. I don't know how some genius editor like probably CG'd me <laughs> in or something. Um, so they gave me that, even though I didn't want it. I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I performed a ceremony quickly thereafter of burning it. Um, yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to get some of the jackets that Tamsin wore that I auctioned off for my brother's charity, which I'm really passionate about and uh, kept uh, one of them for myself. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, Tam Tamsa's uniform was just pretty much standard. I stole some jeans. Those were good. <laughs> I wore these newsboy shoes that I hated. I didn't take those. Anyway, side notes. I, like, I just like that you said, well, yeah, I took this thing and then maybe one other thing. And you're like, well, there was the whole closet. There's every single last piece. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take it, but I yeah, there was a lot. But yeah. I had a lot of great stuff, so I was, I was really excited that they let us do that. Because you don't always get to do that. Yeah. Do you, uh, guys, do you guys know Criminal Minds? Yeah. Yeah. There's this really funny video on YouTube of Matthew Greg Grubler. And he, like, have you guys seen it? Where he's, like, kind of his alter ego. And there's this whole YouTube one of him like stealing shit from set. <laughs> it's like Emmanuel, but in real life. <laughs> you should YouTube it, it's fine. Uh, hi, yeah. Hi, um, my name is Dana. I think I speak for everyone when I say that you two are beautiful and you're so phenomenal. And I'm just wondering, <laughs> as act <laughs> I'm wondering, as actors, were there any scenes that you were excited to act out or that you just had, like, so much fun to do? Like, favorite scenes? Yeah. I mean, there's lots of stuff. We had fun a lot. But my favorite, well, I mean, I, I'm sure you can probably guess, is the one where uh, the, fr the first time I appear in season five where I ride in on a horse. Because, of course, I'm a <laughs> I love horses, and I ride, and that was, like, Christmas for me. <laughs> so that was my favorite. It's because you were always like, Jay, give me a pony. Give me a pony, Jay. I just want a pony. And then he gave me one. See? And a stuffed animal pony, too. Yeah, no, he sent one to my house. I, I, I bugged him. And um, I was like, oh, learn to be specific when you ask for things. Because <laughs> he sent, there was this giant FedEx box on my front porch. And, I, and I'm like, what is this? And I open it, and it's a stuffed pinto pony <laughs> from Jay. <laughs> it's now hanging in Rose's stall as her little as her little uh, barn buddy. <laughs>